Hello everybody, Sergeant Thomas here, and in this video I am announcing that I am reopening my subscriber survival world. It has been a while since I have had this world open, and for the past couple of weeks I've been in this world organizing all the random chests that are throughout the world, and just doing things here and there to try and make it a little bit more enjoyable whenever you guys join. And that's what this video is about, is me announcing that the subscriber world is going to be reopened and also giving you guys an update on some of the things that I have planned out and some of the things I have changed and some of the things that I've noticed since the last time I opened it. So usually I notice everything that goes on around here and nothing really goes unnoticed usually, but since the last time that I had this open, I noticed a house disappear that was over here and I believe it was King Kobe. I don't remember the rest of his gamer tag and his friend, I don't remember his gamer tag either, but they both had a house built over here in the trees and somebody either burned it down or took it all down with a like an axe or something because it was made out of wood in the jungle trees. I don't think it was burned down because I do have fire spread turned off and I believe it's always been turned off. So I don't know what happened to that house, but it's gone. And also I never noticed somebody started to build a house over here, which I have no problem with that. I definitely have a problem with people tearing people's houses down, and that is part of the rules is not to mess with other people's structures. So I can't really punish anybody. I don't know who did that, and I don't know exactly when it happened. I imagine it happened the last time I opened this world, and somebody started building there, and I just I never noticed that. Also, something else that had happened, either the last time I opened it or maybe a time before that, is somebody came over here and stole all of the iron that I had placed around here to help the beacon uh, give off a better signal or strength or whatever you want to call it and again I don't know who did it I think I have enough iron now to replace it but I ask if you have taken the iron please don't take it again uh, and I, that's again part of the rules is to not take stuff so anyways if you've never been in here before this is the spawn where you will spawn in to this world. Uh, whether you've died after coming in here or you've never been in here, this is where you'll spawn. And there used to be bonus chests every time I open the world, but they've made it now where bonus chests only spawn one time and they don't respawn again. So this is just the spawn area now. And then you see these signs here saying welcome. And this one says to read the rules. And here's the rules. And the reason this is a different wood is a creeper exploded here and blew some signs up and I had to fix that and replace some of these signs. Some of them I have taken away because they were, the rules didn't really apply anymore. Uh, and I'm not going to go through them all, but basically I just ask that you guys come in here, play, enjoy yourselves. Don't mess with other people's things. Don't steal other people's items. Uh, don't tear other people's houses down. Don't add to them. Don't, don't, don't alter anybody's house unless they've asked for your help or they're okay with it um, and just play with each other and get along and stuff like that that's really all the rules you don't have to be some special builder to get in here you don't have to you know show me that you're this type of builder or that type of builder you can just come in here and build I don't care for the most part where you build I just ask that you don't go too far from where I've already started to build stuff as well as other people have built um, by the way, this is a tree farm if you haven't noticed, and this is some of the things I've been doing is I made this tree farm here. It used to be all behind, behind that wall, uh, but I moved it and I placed it here near the spawn, and I'm in the process of putting these pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns for light. Uh, but yeah, I ask that you don't build too far away from the spawn, and I'll show you that in here, here in a second what I mean. Uh, this is the World Builders Wall of Fame. If you join the world and you want to leave your name on the wall, you feel free to. You don't have to. Uh, you can see... So far, all the names, some of these are empty. They're not not showing up. They just simply don't have anything on them. Uh, I should place a chest in here, which I, sh I think I'll do that. And rip all those signs off and make a chest just for signs. Uh, this right here, if anybody comes in here and wants to build an animal farm in here, feel free to because I the whole world needs an animal farm. And I don't really have one anywhere right now. So this used to be where all the chests used to be. Uh, they are no longer here. This is where the old tree farm was. And I have moved it to over there and this is a new spot where people can build when they come in here and see I need to fill all this in this is more of the work I've been doing is moving the tree farm I moved the nether wart farm over to there 
Oh, and by the way, I have to give a shout out to my friend Real Deal Creel. He's been in here helping me a lot, uh, you know, organizing his chest, and he built this right here, which is an automatic uh, pumpkin farm. So basically how this works, really quickly I'll show you, is a pumpkin will grow, and it will get knocked off, and it goes into these hoppers and ends up in the chest. Uh, sometimes you'll have to flip these levers, and more pumpkins will be in there because they'll get stuck in the hopper that's underneath these uh, repeaters. And there's plenty of farms that can be built. You can build your own farms wherever you build a house. Uh, I was originally going to build my house up here on this hill, and I'll show you the pathway that leads up here. Uh, that is Mad, Mani Mad Maniac's house, by the way. He's the only one that's built up on this hill. You guys can feel free to build up here if you want to. Uh, I was going to build my house up here, but once we got title update 31, it started to snow up here, and I did not like that because the style of house I was building did not fit with snow at all. It was going to be built out of sandstone, and that also just reminded me, uh, for some reason, I have changed the texture pack. This was originally started in the vanilla texture pack, just the regular default texture pack, and I have switched it over to the natural texture pack, and it's a little bit different than what I usually show in my videos, and I usually just build with the default texture pack, but I figured why not just change it to the natural texture pack for this world, and hopefully you guys don't mind that. Uh, if anybody wants to build here and continue to put grass over this desert, you can feel free to, to add more land. Um, but yeah, up here, again, I was going to build my house. I have decided not to. I will show you guys where I am building my house. And I'm going to try not to make this video too, too long, but I do want to go over quite a few things in here so everybody's kind of on the same page when you guys join into this world and start building in here. And I don't know how often I can open the world. I'm going to try to open it as much as possible. And I said that the last time I originally opened this world. And I didn't really do that great of a job, but this time I hope I can do a little bit better. And you guys can push me to do a little bit better and open the world more often by following me on Twitter, which is where I announce that I am opening the world in the first place. That's the first place you will be notified that I am opening this world for you guys to come in and play along with me is on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you guys can... Uh, basically tweet me and say hey are you opening the world or can you open it and I'll say yes or no or I'll open it and I'll also tweet that it's being opened and that's again will be the first place that I notify you guys so if you see it on Twitter if you see it right away then you can be ready to join the world as soon as I open it and get in here in case it fills up or something so follow me on Twitter it's always in the description of every one of my videos is my Twitter link uh, so go ahead and follow me feel free to anyways and this right here, this isn't working right now. I think once they do the bug fix update, this should start working. But this is supposed to be a fully automatic uh, potato farm. And it has worked in the past in my friend's world. It's just not working right now because, again, there's a bug fix that needs to happen for this farmer to farm this. I have seen him do it. It does work, usually. Uh, and he'll go over there and throw it. And I'm not going to really go into all that. But it's really cool. It's completely automatic. Uh, this is owned by, I'm not exactly sure who owns this. But somebody built it, and then somebody bought it off of whoever built it for a certain amount of iron or something like that. Uh, this was built by Hell King Kobe 30 and Tyler Brown 2003. Those are the ones who built the house over here that got torn down. And again, don't tear people's houses down. Uh, this is where you guys can come in here and mess with the villagers and trade with them and get stuff from them. Uh, this is where the villagers that are in that... Uh, potato farm I just showed you. That's where those guys came from. Uh, luckily it's becoming night and I don't have mobs on because I don't have to sleep. Now this is where the uh, enchantment table is in the enchanting room. And so how this over here works, oh yeah really quickly I'll show you. This right here is just a community ender chest. Uh, you can have your own which is totally fine. Uh, but that's just one for anybody running by needs to use the ender chest. There, That's where it is. Um, but how this works out here is I've built all of these that you see so far, except for like the one right there and the one back there. But this is supposed to be an, en uh, not an enchanting, a potion house where everything potion wise should be in here. Right now, this is all randomized and I need to clean this out. But if you need to brew something, you can come in here and grab stuff, ingredients, and things and brew potions up. And then this house over here, this is a house I built for wood. 
and you can see this is what this is signifying is that this is the wood house you can come in here you can grab this type of wood you can grab this type of wood log and you can see the floor indicates what's in each tech chest and since we have gotten some new woods I have so far put some up here not very much acacia or dark oak there but I ask that if you guys do use this house uh, for example and you come in here and get wood please don't take all of the wood out of any of the chests unless you plan on adding some back like you can come in here and take like say that over you know that's fine but I ask that people are generous and replenish these chests if you can I mean that would be very generous and nice and that the same thing goes for all of these houses like the redstone house don't go in there and take all the redstone because that's not fair for others I want this to be a community style survival world where everybody comes in here and everybody contributes where you know somebody takes on the job of going to get wood maybe go to the tree farm chop it all down replant the plants uh, replant the trees and come fill the chest in here that's a great thing if you have nothing to do feel free to do that it'd be awesome uh, same thing with the potion the redstone this house right here somebody started the build and I've kind of started to finish it and I hopefully we'll have it finished by the time I open this world again this is where gravel is there's dirt uh, cobblestone cobblestone and stuff like that uh, right now this little house I've turned into basically just the miscellaneous house if you come in here there is all kinds of just stuff in all of these chests and I'm trying to organize it all and I have found as you can see uh, the water temple and I've taken some of the stuff and I honestly don't remember where it was because I was with my friend real deal Creel and we were exploring the world to see what new biomes there were and we got some of the new trees and stuff like that and we've tried to organize this stuff not just for us but for you guys you know as well for, for it to be fun and easy for you guys to find things and just do stuff uh, this is the train station I don't think I've shown this since I built this I built this a long time ago uh, but I think after I had last opened this world or while I was while it was open I started it I don't remember but basically you come in here and if you want to go to the skeleton farm you hit B, B plus C so you will put that on B and then you will put that on C and then you just jump in the car hit the button and it will take you there uh, right now the tree farm one I needed to change and that one I have not um, programmed it to take you anywhere yet uh, but also another thing is if you guys see lots like this with just cobblestone outlined feel free to build there that's why I did this was so people will know that you can build a house in that shape or you can alter the shape a little bit uh, but I ask that people don't again build too far away that over there is Dante the whales house and that is about as far as I would like people to build that's not too far but I wouldn't go any further than that in a circular type radius if you will um, and I would prefer again for people to build in this little town that we've started to grow here is you know build a house here build a house over right there where those torches are build a house here build a house over here if you have to alter the land a little bit one down there and just like make it really compact and look like it's starting to build up because it already is starting to look like that and I think it looks awesome um, but again feel free to build if you see houses outlined like this it doesn't even have to be your personal house if you want to build a little shop build a little shop that houses you know just fish or something I don't know it's totally up to you guys uh, or you can build your own personal house because that house right there uh, was built by another one of my friends uh, Valk he came in here and he built that house to kind of add to the uh, to the town while I've been in here organizing things and stuff um, now I'm gonna go over here and show you guys what I've really really been doing a lot of in here because again I've been organizing chests and stuff but I've also been you know altering the land terraforming if you will so when we come between the redstone house and this house with all these blocks it didn't used to be this flat out here I have gone ahead and terraformed it to where it looks as natural as possible over here and feel free to build over here I mean it's really not necessarily here to build on but you don't feel like you can't build here but what I want to do down here is you see all this flat land look how flat it is it was pretty relatively flat out that way and I figured you know what I'm gonna flatten it over here and continue it to connect over there and we can continue this town is bleed it down into here 
and build a little house or shop there and then put a pathway and build one over here something here you know just build stuff all over and I think we should keep this water it's up to you guys though really because uh, again I don't mind what you guys do but I do want you guys to listen to a little bit of rules and take take things into consideration and don't completely alter the land and don't build a giant house in this big open lot here that's not what I want this open area to become uh, I don't mind if you build a small house here and there and you can build multiple houses but don't you know take it upon yourself to just be like oh I'm taking all this land out here and just start building this giant house that's not what I would like you guys to do I would like all these little houses to all just become one giant village throughout this entire land uh, and another thing I ask is don't cut these big trees down because they look really cool uh, you can see there's big big oak trees that have just naturally grown uh, with the land and they look pretty cool especially since there's not a lot of trees out here, I figured I'd leave these really big ones and they look really cool. Uh, so yeah, feel free to come out in this area and build a house. But again, I can't stress it enough, please don't take a whole entire gigantic flat piece of land. Uh, and again, if you haven't been in here, and even if you have been in here, I suggest that you read the rules on the wall. I think I may add a couple more rules. Uh, maybe, for example... I'll add a rule that says don't build bigger than a 20 by 20 house or something uh, 20 by 20 a lot or something like that and you don't have to build necessarily in any of these certain styles you can build modern you can build rustic you can build steampunk uh, and then that reminds me another thing is don't build something huge up into the air I said this in my original video when I opened up this world originally is please don't build a giant eyesore into the sky of like a, a a tall grass pillar or something or dirt um, I don't know again I just don't want it to look crazy here don't build anything obscene or offensive to other people uh, take that into consideration and just have fun I mean I, I try not to have too many rules but I definitely have to have rules because if I let you guys come in here and run rampant people will get upset and not want to play with you guys or play with me and stuff will get destroyed and it just I really really want this to turn out to be a fun community style world and the more that I open it the bigger it will grow and the more you know awesome it will become and also this right here I don't know what this is gonna be I originally built this the horses are underneath this that I showed you guys where you can make a farm you can come in here and make maybe more farms like for example melon farms uh, wheat farms we already got wheat there but we always need food and things like that and hay bales and you guys know uh, what you got to do just come in here build stuff and have fun but try not to do anything crazy and don't break the rules uh, and again I can't go over every single rule that shall apply but think would you think that I would want you to do something crazy or not I think that to yourself before you think about doing something crazy uh, and if and feel free to ask me if you think you know will he mind this or or not and if you're not sure feel free to ask me I'll message you or we can talk in game and stuff like that uh, but most of all just come in here have fun don't mess with other people's stuff build don't build too far don't build anything crazy and I really don't know what else to say I again follow me on Twitter to know when I am opening the world I will also leave a update on the Xbox feed that I am opening the world as well so pay attention to your Xbox feed I will say hey I'm opening the subscriber world come join and as soon as I come online and that the world is joinable join away and come play have fun and I think that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching this update slash re announcement to this uh, subscriber world I hope you guys will come and join and play with me along with everybody else and get along and make this world grow into something awesome so I think that's it other than that thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video follow me on Twitter and ask me to open the world and I will let you guys know when I am opening it as well on Twitter follow me follow me follow me see you guys later